Did anyone ever tell you not to judge a book by its cover? No? Well, then I'm going to tell you, and you should keep it in mind. Because the all newification of this 2017 Audi A4 is way more comprehensive than its exterior upgrades might suggest. How does it look? At first glance, this looks like what you'd immediately imagine if someone said new A4. The overall shape is pretty much the same, and in profile view, it doesn't look like a drastic departure from the outgoing model. However, a closer look at the front and rear fascias show more heavily sculpted details, sharper lighting elements too. Overall, it's very handsome, if kind of understated. How's the storage? The A4 isn't a huge car by any means but there's still enough room in the trunk for a handful of suitcases or the all-important golf clubs. Door cubbies and map pockets offer a little storage, but there's nothing clever or innovative in terms of where to put things inside the car. Still, there's a lot of room for small gadgets like your smartphone, and American-sized cup holders can accommodate a wide variety of tasty beverages. Is it roomy? The cockpit feels good for someone of average height like me, and Audi's minimalist interior makes the whole cabin feel spacious and airy. The rear accommodations are fine for transporting your coworkers out to a lunch meeting, but full-size adults will probably start to feel a little cramped on longer journeys. Is it well equipped? This is the A4 Prestige model, which is Audi speak for fully loaded. In addition to every standard luxury feature you'd expect, the A4 has the super tech-forward virtual cockpit infotainment system, a 3D Bang & Olufsen sound system, a head-up display, interior and exterior LED lighting, a Wi-Fi hotspot, Google Earth Maps, adaptive cruise control, and so much more. Seriously, you would be bored to tears if I started to rattle off the full equipment list of this car. How does the interior feel? Audi did a really nice job with the interior of the A4. Everything feels excellent. It's really solid. I love the aluminum accents of this dark interior test car, and everything's just simple and elegantly laid out. How's the infotainment system? Audi's new virtual cockpit is easily the most futuristic infotainment experience in the auto industry today. The huge instrument cluster display renders maps and graphics at 60 frames per second, and the entire experience is beautiful and sharp. While the cockpit display is all controlled by knobs and buttons on the steering wheel, a second central screen houses all the same functionality, operated by the usual dial topped with a touchpad for data entry. It genuinely feels like there's nothing this system cannot do. It does take a few runs to learn how it all works, but once you've got it, you won't want to live without it. Is it a good daily driver? The best thing I can say about the A4 is that when you're really not pushing it, it's very easy to drive. Everything is very calm, cool, and collected. The suspension is nicely compliant. Visibility is great. The turbocharged two liter engine has enough power to get you around town, but to get up to speed quickly for getting onto the highway. All in, this is a car you could happily put miles on over and over and over again. I really like the virtual cockpit for everyday driving too. Everything you need is right here in the gauge cluster, and because it's reconfigurable, you can focus on having larger speedometer, smaller speedometer, larger map zoomed in and out. It really works with you for whatever you need every single day. Is it fun to drive? What's cool about the A4 is it can be as fun or as boring to drive as you want. It's got the Audi Drive Select system, so you can dial it up into dynamic mode if you really want to have a little more fun, or you can just set it and forget it and leave it in auto, or even just not really care at all and put it in comfort mode. Either way, even in the most comfortable setting, nothing about the drive experience is really disconnected from you. You've still got decent steering feel, the engine always has enough power, but even in dynamic mode, the two liter isn't exactly like punchy or harsh or anything like that. No matter how you want to drive it, it's just nice and it works with you. I like it. How's the fuel economy? With the two liter turbo engine, seven speed dual clutch transmission and all wheel drive, this A4 returns 24 miles per gallon in the city, 31 highway, and 27 combined. That's pretty much average for the class, though a BMW 328i will do slightly better on the freeway. How much is it? 
The new A4 starts just below 40 grand, but it quickly climbs from there. Selecting the prestige trim of this tester adds $8,600 to the bottom line, though it includes a bevy of high-end luxury and technology equipment. Add on things like a driver assistance package, warm weather pack, cold weather pack, and adaptive suspension, and you arrive at the $54,275 price of the car I'm driving. What are the negatives? If I'm being picky, the styling is a little boring, only really in this profile view, and the interior is not as luxurious, and it's maybe not quite as nice to drive as a Mercedes-Benz C-Class. Who should buy it? If the BMW 3 Series is an Android, the Audi A4 is an iPhone. Both cars will accomplish the same goal. It really just kind of depends on what brand you like better. But like an iPhone, the Audi A4 is a little sleeker and it offers a more comprehensive, congruent experience. Plus, all your tech nerd, stupor hipster friends will think it's awesome. If you like this Why Buy, subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or read us at motor1.com.